what's up and welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's video. So in today's video, we are going to be testing and swatching the brand new Fenty Gloss Bomb Creams. I am so ridiculously excited about these. Um, and when I did receive them, I did post on my Instagram stories asking you guys if you wanted to see a swatch video and it was an overwhelming yes. So many people voted on that one, like thousands of people. Um, I think that you guys, based on that, are just as excited about this launch as I am. Now you guys are all familiar with how much I am absolutely obsessed with the original Fenty Gloss Bomb lip gloss. Honestly, as far as glosses go, hands down my most loved formula. I use them all the time. I'm so glad that they finally started to, you know, release more shades in that range. Um, and it's just like, they're not too sticky. They're so moisturizing. They're comfortable on the lips. They don't make your lips feel dry and chapped and they just look perfect. Like I seriously, you cannot fault them. I love the packaging. I love the scent. They don't leave an awful taste in your mouth. I could go on all day. I really, really love them. Well, these brand new Gloss Bomb creams are exactly the same formula as the original Gloss Bomb, but now they have also added color and there are no shimmer in these ones. So these ones do come in five different shades. I have got all five shades here to show you. Basically the idea behind these ones is it's a hybrid between a lipstick and a lip gloss. So you get that same beautiful sheer color. And according to their website, it is medium to full coverage. So perhaps they're buildable, you know, we'll find out. Um, but then you will also get that soft like youthful look of a gloss and also the moisturizing factor of a gloss. So yeah if you were interested in seeing the brand new Fenty gloss bomb creams, seeing swatches of all five shades on my lips and hearing my thoughts on whether or not I think these brand new ones are worth the money then please keep on watching. All right so firstly packaging wise this is what they look like when you do receive them. They come in the normal so when you purchase a gloss bomb from Fenty the original gloss this is what the box looks like but obviously they now say gloss bomb cream. You have a swatch of the color on the top and then this is what the actual product looks like exactly the same packaging as the original gloss bomb it's like a hexagonal tube it has a chrome lid um, you unscrew it and then you've got a really, really nice, generous sized doe foot applicator. I love the size of their doe foot applicators and they're just so comfortable to use. Um, I feel like they apply the perfect amount of product. They're just, I, I can't fault these at all. Oh, they smell amazing. Is that like mango? vanilla. So you do get nine mil of product in these ones and they do retail for USD $19. I will put the Australian price on the screen. Um, I've just, I've got the Fenty.com website here in front of me. That's where I'm reading the information from. But yeah, on here it's 19 US dollars. Come in five shades. Like I said, I feel like I can say with confidence that they will extend this shade range depending on how popular these are, you know, how well received these are. Um, they honestly look amazing. I love the shades. We've got some pinks, we've got a red, and then we've got more nude sort of terracotta colors. Now, as far as the description goes, this is what it says. Luscious color, explosive shine, nourished, fuller looking lips. Our number one gloss now with pure creamy color and incredible shine. Uh, medium to full coverage color, zero shimmer, universally flattering, shimmer free colors in five shades. Ooh, the scent is peach vanilla and they also include vitamin A to nourish the lips. 100% cruelty free, of course. Um, yeah, I feel like that's about enough information. I'm so excited. Let's get these on my lips. All right, first up we have the shade Honey Waffles. That's such a cute name. Honestly, I love the name. This is like a really sort of muted nude color, but it also does have like quite an orange undertone to it. I would nearly call it like a terracotta. Oh my God. <laughs> um, yeah, I understand what they mean now. These definitely are more of like a full coverage color. Oh, it applies really, really easily. And it's actually quite easy to get a nice sharp edge with the doe foot applicator, which I really like. Now, as far as like taste test goes, I'm not getting, I'm not getting like an awful taste in my mouth. Fenty did release like a lip gloss moisturizing, hydrating situation a couple of months ago. And they had a really bizarre, like they left a really bizarre taste in my mouth. Um, these do not at all. Honestly, so far I'm really, really impressed. So this shade here is the shade Honey Waffles and it's like a warm terracotta kind of orange color. All right, next up we are going in with the shade Fenty Glow. I feel like this is like the original universal shade that they brought out in the original Gloss Bomb. It's like a beautiful nude, but it does have like a pinky kind of an undertone. I have a feeling this one may be my favorite. It just looks like the perfect pinky nude that would look good on everyone. Oh my God, obsessed. Yeah, I was right. <laughs> wow, oh you guys, I love these. They feel so nice on the lips. I do think that this one is perhaps not quite as pigmented as Honey Waffles, 
Um, or perhaps it's more because the color of this one's like a lot more close to what my natural lip color is. It's such an easy product to sort of like chuck on the lips and then not have to worry about, you know, they're just easy, really easy to use. Oh, that one's beautiful. So this is Fenty Glow. Out of the first two that I've tried, this one's definitely my fave. All right, next up we have Mauve Wives. Mauve Wives is a lot more cool tone than Fenty Glow. And it does have more of like a mauve purpley kind of an undertone. It looks really, really beautiful. I feel like this one would look amazing paired with like a cool tone smoky eye. Um, it's just got that kind of vibe. So here she is close up. Such a pretty color. <gasps> Oh, oh my God, I love it. Like it's glossy and it's got that lip gloss texture to it, but it's not over the top sticky. You know, I don't feel like it would ever have those strings that form between your lips, but at the same time, you've just got this amazing color that's not streaky at all. Mauve Wives is beautiful. I thought that it might end up looking like a little bit ashy against my sort of more yellow skin tone, but it doesn't. It just looks gorgeous. Oh. You guys, I'm obsessed with these already. Like for, as far as first impressions go, wow. All right, the fourth shade that I have here is Cookie Jar and it's like a deeper redder terracotta. Um, it's actually quite similar to the one that we tried first. So here is Honey Waffles and then this is Cookie Jar side by side. Cookie Jar is a much richer, deeper, more intense version. Um, but it does have that very similar kind of terracotta kind of undertone. Um, yeah, really pretty. And then here's a little look at her close up. All right, let's see how this one applies. <gasps> oh my God, I love it already. <laughs> You're probably sick of hearing me say that, but these are my kind of lip product. You guys will have noticed a huge theme here with me. Throughout 2020, I've been way more drawn towards like lip oils, tinted lip oils, tinted lip creams like this, just really easy, low maintenance kind of lip products. Um, they've been my favorite. I'm so glad to see one from Fenty, honestly. So glad. Look at that. Look at that pigmentation. Like that, like normally in a gloss, I should be seeing a whole lot of streakiness. It should be difficult to apply. It should be difficult to blend out properly. But it's just like one swipe and it's perfect streak-free coverage. And I really like two. So you can see the difference in the applications. Um, I've done it on the top lip, very, very sheer, very, very light. You can see how easy they are to customize. So if you wanted to pick up one of the deeper shades and then apply a very, very thin layer, you still can do that without getting any streaks. And then on the bottom lip here, I've applied more of like a full coverage kind of a swipe. I still haven't, you know, applied layer upon layer. It's still like literally one go, but there's more product on the lower lip and see how it looks darker, more deeper and sort of more intense. Um, they're quite easy to customize. And then the last shade that I have here is Fruit Snacks and she's like a sexy red. This is a very festive color actually. Um, it's a really deep sort of, oh no, nah, it's more of like a wine deep toned red. Um, it just, it looks beautiful. Ooh, it kind of matches my nail polish. Such a beautiful color. And I love that it's not like an orange based red. It's more of like a purple based. It's really, really rich and gorgeous. Oh my God. I mean, look at that, you guys. Mm! Still amazingly not streaky. Like you can see close up. There's no streaks in that and when I've applied it. It's definitely a little bit more sheer than the other ones, like based on what the color looks like in the tube in comparison to what it looks like on your lips. Um, it's a little bit more sheer. It's like a lighter version, but we can try building it up if you like. Oh, look at that. Wow. All right. So on my lower lip there, that is a second coat. So you can certainly build it up. It's definitely more of an accurate reflection of what it looks like in the tube on the lower lip. But I also like it, you know, they're just so easy to customize. So you can go lighter and more sheer or you can go for like a deep, rich color. And then finally to finish, I'm just going to quickly show you guys all five swatches on my arm so that you can see the colors side by side and kind of see what they look like in comparison to each other directly. I've got to say, you guys, <laughs> I am super, super, super impressed with this formula. 
It is very easy to apply. It is customizable. All of the colors are gorgeous. And it also feels really comfortable on the lips, like not too sticky, not too over the top glossy, but they also feel like that they would last a long time. Like the formula feels pretty much exactly the same as the original gloss bomb. Huge, huge, huge thumbs up from me, definitely. Um, I am gonna be wearing this for the rest of the day. I will update in the comments if I notice any bleeding or it gets all over my teeth or I just, you know, it starts to feel dry and uncomfortable. Um, also whether or not they actually do dry down a little bit on the lips. But yeah, I will update all of that information. Either I'll pin a comment in the comments or I'll pop it in the description bar. But yeah, I would love to know what you guys think of this new product, the new Fenty Gloss Bomb Creams and what shade is your favorite and are you gonna be picking any of them up? All right guys, I love you heaps. I hope that you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Let me know all of your thoughts in the comment section down below and I will catch you all in my next video.